Have you ever wondered why you can't seem to reach your goals or why you constantly feel like you're not good enough? This could be a sign of an unseen battle within, a battle against self-hate. Self-hate is a subconscious mindset that can hinder your personal growth and happiness. It's a silent enemy, often unrecognized and unacknowledged. Today, we're going to delve into the seven signs that indicate you might be dealing with self-hate. Recognizing these signs is the first step towards learning to love yourself. So what are these signs that you might be struggling with self-hate? Let's dive right in. The first sign is a constant wave of self-criticism. You might notice that you're always finding fault with yourself, nitpicking over things that others might not even notice. It's, uh, it's as though you're your own worst critic and it's a tough cycle to break. The second sign is struggling with perfectionism. Now don't get me wrong, striving for excellence isn't a bad thing, but when you're caught in the snare of perfectionism, nothing ever seems good enough. There's always something that could be better and it's this unattainable standard that keeps you from ever feeling satisfied. Next up is the neglect of personal needs. You might find yourself putting everyone else's needs before your own to the point where you're neglecting your own well-being. It's almost as if you're running on empty, but you keep going, ignoring the signs that you need to refuel. The fourth sign is avoiding activities you once enjoyed. This might manifest as losing interest in hobbies or passions that used to bring you joy. It's like a cloud has cast a shadow over these activities, robbing them of their spark. Feeling undeserving of happiness is the fifth sign. You might catch yourself thinking that you don't deserve to be happy or have good things happen to you. It's a disheartening thought that can keep you from enjoying the beautiful moments in life. The sixth sign is harboring a negative inner dialogue. It's that voice inside your head that's always bringing you down telling you that you're not good enough, smart enough, or worthy enough. It's a harsh critic that never seems to take a break. And lastly, we have low self-esteem. This might present itself as a feeling of worthlessness or a lack of confidence. It's like you're living in the shadow of doubt, constantly questioning your worth and abilities. These signs may seem subtle, but their impact on your life can be profound. You've now learned about the seven signs of self-hate, but what do these signs truly mean for you? Well, each sign is like a red flag waving and trying to get your attention. They signal deeper issues that can negatively impact your mental well-being. Over time, self-hate can lead to increased stress, anxiety, and depression. It's like carrying a heavy weight on your shoulders every day, and that's no way to live. Moreover, these signs can be roadblocks, hindering your personal and professional growth. They can make you doubt your abilities, question your worth, and ultimately prevent you from achieving your goals. It's like trying to run a race with your shoelaces tied together. But here's the good news. Recognizing these signs is your first step towards overcoming self-hate. It's like turning on a light in a dark room. You can now see what's tripping you up and begin to navigate around it. But remember, recognizing these signs is just the first step on a journey towards self-love. So. You've recognized these signs in yourself. What's next? It's crucial to understand that it's okay to seek help 
when needed. There's no shame in turning to therapy or, or counseling. In fact, these avenues can open doors to profound insights and healing. Embrace the practice of self-love and self-acceptance. It's not about being perfect. It's about being kind to yourself, accepting your flaws, and celebrating your strengths. Remember, the journey towards self-love is a marathon, not a sprint. It's never too late to start.